we're in this weird time right now when we can't meet together physically as a church. And it's raising all these questions about, well, what exactly is the church? Is it simply that thing that we go to each week? Is it that hour-long service where we sit, we sing some songs together, then we hear a sermon? Or is church something richer, something even more significant than that hour ritual that we engage in on a weekly basis? See, the thing that I believe about you more than a well-put-together service, more than something you go to for an hour a week, you desire something that is deeper, something more life-giving, something that you have access to every hour of the week. So what exactly is church? See, I, I would argue that that service that we do, the hour-long service, is simply one expression of the church. And it's one expression that, yes, it's not available to us right now. But all the other expressions, all the other forms and meanings of church, well, they're still available to us today. So what exactly is the church for? Well, let's talk about fear. Uh, we've been talking about fear over the past few weeks during our sermons. And there's a beautiful verse in the book of 1 John. It says, perfect love casts out fear. Isn't that one of the purposes of church? That we would experience perfect love and in doing so, all the fear that we feel would be cast aside, would be cast out. And how exactly do we experience perfect love? Well, we ex experience it in community, through each other, through the love, the grace, the acceptance, the shared life that we have with others. So just because we can't gather together in a building, well, all the things that church is for, they're still available to us today, in this time. So may you come to experience love, shared love, with those whom you are quarantined with. May you pick up the phone. May you dial the number of those who you're sharing life with, who you're sharing all your hopes, your dreams, your fears, your desires with. May you open the computer. May you Zoom, FaceTime, Skype with all those who you are walking through life with. And in doing so, may you come to experience that perfect divine love. The grace that meets you where you are. The grace that tells you you're accepted. You're loved simply for who you are. May you come to experience all of that. And in doing so, may you come to feel and know a peace and a love that is stronger, that is bigger, that is more enduring than any of the fear you might feel.